concert of our 2013 season of your Wisconsin Rapids City Band. Our opening march was entitled Men in Gray March by uh, Norman Bromstead. Uh, interesting thing, uh, Mr. Bromstead at one point years ago used to have a music store here in Rapids. As a matter of fact, a couple of our longtime band members actually had him as a band director. I think that was a few years ago. Yes, indeed. Our uh, second work for our uh, concert tonight, something in the style of an overture. And uh, as I was going through some of our files, looking for music to program, especially after having just come off of the Cranberry Fest parade this last weekend, this piece seemed to fit just perfect for us. A work by John Klein entitled Cranberry Corners, USA. <laughs> Thank you. 
like to take a moment to thank our sponsor for this evening's concert. As you can see the banner uh, here to your left, um, the Riverview Medical Center uh, is sponsoring us uh, tonight and also uh, sponsored the band in the parade uh, this last Sunday, provided the tow vehicle for our wagon, uh, for our little band that we had in the parade. I uh, hope some of you uh, were out there and had a chance to in, uh, enjoy all the festivities. So we want to thank them so very much both for that uh, event as well as for tonight. So thank you, Riverview Medical Center. As always, Peg Garber is working around out in the crowd. So if you're in need of uh, a little cold refreshment, uh, whether it's uh, some ice cream or some cold water, she can uh, take care of you. Also, she has for sale uh, one of our fundraising activities, flower cards from One Rose. Uh, $25 uh, gets you a card that will get you a flower a month for an entire year, plus some uh, other extra special um, offers that are on there. So uh, see Peg, and she can help you out uh, with that. Next, we turn to the music of Percy Aldridge Granger. Um, though he eventually settled in America, became an American citizen, uh, this uh, famous composer uh, was originally born in Australia. Uh, and wrote a beautiful little melody um, as he would often uh, do and use it for many different instrument uh, and vocal combinations, originally written for chorus. Um, this little version <coughs> for the band of his Australian upcountry tune. something to get the blood going a little bit. An original tune by Stan Jones, Riders in the Sky. <laughs> Thank you. 
We go now to Broadway, to a show written by uh, Stephen Schwartz uh, that came out originally in the 70s, enjoyed one of the longest runs on Broadway, and then kind of went to sleep for a while. And this last year, it was revived uh, for the 2012 season. And when the Tony Awards came up, uh, which is the pinnacle for all Broadway type performances, um, it garnered no less than 10 nominations and won four Tony Awards, including the best revival of a musical for the year. Um, the original production starred Ben Vereen. Some of you may uh, uh, remember him from many, many roles, uh, both in Broadway and in film. Um, and a, uh, a great, great story uh, set around a young man by the name of Pippin, whose father was the great King Charlemagne. And it's all about this young man coming of age. Historical only slightly. But some of the tunes that you'll hear are Corner of the Sky, Morning Glow, Spread a Little Sunshine, War is a Science, and the Finale of Pippin. And so here's Stephen Schwartz's highlights from the musical Pippin. <laughs>
next the music of Carl King and his march entitled Bunker Hill. <laughs> adventurous people out there, you're more than welcome. We have a Beguine for you by Eric Osterling entitled Blue Mist. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Genius of Ray Charles. And in this arrangement, you're going to hear, I Can't Stop Loving You, Hallelujah, I Love Him So, Let the Good Times Roll, What I Say, and probably one of his greatest, greatest hits, Georgia on My Mind. The Genius of Ray Charles. Thank you. 
Sunday. Uh, the weather, how can we ask for anything better than this? Uh, despite all the wet that's been around, something, somebody's looking after us here, I think, uh, for all these. So we're, we're great, <laughs> grateful for that and grateful for the sponsors. Uh, next, we have a, a waltz for the evening, and the dance floor is still here. Uh, to quote the late, great Don Cheesebro, would always say at moments like this, the management uh, Please request that there's absolutely no dancing, unless you have to. <laughs> By John Morrissey, a, a waltz for band. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next week, we will not be here on Tuesday evening. So if you show up out here, you might be able to enjoy a very nice evening, slide in the slide, ride the swings, something like that, but there will be no band music. Because it is 4th of July week, we will be out at the Centralia Center on July 4th at 7 o'clock for our annual July 4th concert. Um, patriotic selections abound, uh, a special tribute to all of our uh, current and past uh, service people. Um, so we encourage you to um, bring your lawn chairs out. It's a beautiful area both to hear the concert and then just to stay right around there and catch the fireworks. Uh, it's also a real easy exit then when it's all done. So we encourage you to come on down and catch the band at 7 o'clock on July 4th. Well, it's polka time. And I have to go back and quote Don again on this one. I always like to call this the polka about the biggest pencil in the world. The Pennsylvania polka. <laughs> chance to hear. Uh, it's uh, wonderful entertainment and, uh, and it's great to be able to preserve live music uh, for our community. And so we thank everybody for their support for this. Our closing march, we wanted to leave you with something that we know you could would stick up here and you would probably be whistling it on the way home. By Kenneth Alford, it's Colonel Bogey March. <laughs> 